Hello, my name is Steven Dwick, and in two days, I will be at Winnipeg Comic Con. And you know what? I'm going to take you a little bit on my last minute preparation. going to show you some of the preparations I've already done and just show you a bit of the process of the next few days as I set up, as I get ready to sell. I've never done this before. So right now, I have very low expectations. I want to break even, but I'm going to take you through like everything, finances, costs, stock, all of it so that you like can see my experience and see, hey, do I want to do Comic-Con? I don't know. Or you can just be like, wow, that guy flopped really hard or did okay. We'll see. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll find out in the next couple days, but I'm going to take you along for the ride. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we have the supplies, all the storage, and here we have our mock setup. So I have taped out the, like the table space. I've taped out the table space. And this is what I think it's gonna look like. We have the 11 by 17s here. Then we got a nice little price labels. Down at the bottom, we have a little comic I've done, a bunch of like original sketch cards that are all movie characters and such. So those one of a kind. Then we got uh, bucket hats. I have a bunch to restock. I'll have them under the table. Got all the price labels there. Gonna have a little info card in front of the sketch cards because I have some more that I could do custom. Nice little business card holder, courtesy of my mom. Uh, here we got the pins and the keychains and the stickers on this nice magnet board that is metal. It's pretty heavy. We got it supported in the back by a piece of wood and some little book stands. Hopefully they hold. Then we're gonna have my stock behind here. And then we have my square reader. Postcards hanging here and all the way across here where I will be sitting. And so that's kind of kind of what we got. We got the full mock-up. Now I'm gonna try to pack it up and get ready for Comic-Con, I guess. It's um, pretty crazy. I'm gonna have sweaters hanging behind the booth and I have my big banner that I ordered that I'm super excited to put up. So I'm pretty happy with the setup. I think it'll look cool. I really have no idea what's gonna sell, how much it's gonna sell, if anything is gonna sell. No idea. So we're gonna find out. So we were all ready to set up for day one. My dad was helping me on uh, Friday and we got it all set up and met our neighbors. They were really friendly and got some little tips. And before we knew it, people started walking into Comic-Con and we were off to a great start. Okay, so day one has been completed and it was pretty good. I made $104 in sales. I sold two Avengers prints, the Iron Man postcard, and a few over the garden wall postcards. I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. My neighbors are amazing, like super nice, super lovely people. So that's fun. It was just cool to see everybody out there. I think I had no expectations, so it was good. And everyone says that the next days are a lot faster. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Good morning, this is my buddy Matt. He's joining me today. Um, we're back, we made some price adjustments to the, the sweaters and the bucket hats because I want to sell them. Hopefully we move some product today. Um, we are excited, ready for the day. Um, here for 10 hours, should be, should be fun, should be interesting. So on Friday, I noticed that one of the booth artists on my row had been drawing all day, and I had also been drawing, but I'd been drawing on my iPad, and when I walked by her booth at the end of the day, I noticed she had a bunch of her original sketches for sale uh, that she had just been doing during the con. So then, come Saturday, I was like, well, I'm here for 10 hours, might as well draw. So I drew a couple original artworks of Link, uh, The Mandalorian, Miles Morales, that is well, Jinx from Arcane and it was really really fun and what was really surprising was that they sold it is nearly five i believe and we've made a lot of sales sold some sweaters i'm so happy matt's so happy with vibing and thriving eating bagels can it get any better than this matt it cannot get any better it cannot morning of day three. The con just opened up. People are starting to walk around. Um, 
got yesterday was a screaming six cents per game, a thousand dollars. And supposedly Sundays are similar to Saturdays. Today I'm going to be donating all my cash money to IJM because it's Sunday and we don't work on Sundays because um, that's the Lord's Day. But I have to be at the con, so I'm going to donate it to stop human trafficking. Um, so I hope I make a lot of sales for that today. I'm excited. Uh, I had my buddy Matt here yesterday. It's super fun. My partner today is showing up later. Um, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. I am loving this con con lifestyle. It's amazing. All right, talk to you guys later. What's up? It's me and Jaden at the end of day three. I just ran around and did a bunch of art trades with sick artists. So much fun. These are our neighbors. They were lovely. The whole weekend, we got everyone tearing down all around us. And what would you say, Jaden? Was it a good day? It was amazing. It was a good day. Yeah, we'll do, again. we'll do again. And so we're just packing up and then we will check in and see how we did this weekend. And just like that, it's over. We finished Comic Con, ladies and gentlemen, and it was a screaming success. Today was mostly filled with commissions, which was different from the other days, but really fun. Uh, I will give you a little look at what my room looks like right now. I'm going to do a little time lapse of me unpacking. And then we're gonna break down the numbers, talk about what all happened, cause it was good, it was a success, I made a profit. Who knows how much, we're gonna find out, uh, and I'll explain it all to you guys. Check in later. So, it's been a week since Comic-Con, I have shaved my head and I have also crunched some numbers. But before we get to the fun grand reveals, how much money did I make? Did I lose money? Did I make money? Um, let's crunch some spreadsheets. So, first of all, we got my costs. The booth at Winnipeg Comic-Con cost $350. Then I bought a tablecloth, because I've never done this before, so I had to kind of prepare and buy everything I would need to have on my table. Thankfully, I did already have around $1,500 worth of stock from my Etsy store, that includes my sweaters, my bucket hats, most of my stickers. The main expenses were just prints and like practical stuff. So um, my tablecloth cost me $20, poly mailers cost me $35. Turns out my sleeves are actually a little bit too small, which was very sad. But then I bought some Sharpies, some acrylic stands to like set some stuff up on the table. My banner, which was very big and very nice, probably unnecessary. Like if you're doing a con and you're not sure if you want to commit, um, you don't need a banner, um, but I liked it. It was fun to make, so that was $95. And then um, my prints totaled up to $144. And so you'll see behind me here the amount of prints I got. And I didn't really know. I've heard from different people to go low on the prints so that you don't like end up with a bunch. And I did end up with a bunch left over at the end, but I'm not super bummed about that because I can list them on my Etsy store or do different cons and not have to buy prints. But it was interesting that the Muppets print sold the most. That was something I wasn't expecting. So when it was all said and done, my costs came up to $670, which seems like a big commitment. But if you subtract the banner, it's like 565, it's not awful. But it is still a risk and it's a risk I took and a risk that ended up paying off. Let's get into what I made. So first we're gonna break down the different days. On Friday, I made eight sales, which totaled up to $104. And the majority of those were actually credit card sales. What I figured out is you definitely need a square reader um, if you're doing a con, because people are gonna pay a lot of the time credit. Um, I did have some cash sales, but the majority were credit sales. And the big sales are always on credit. So eight sales on Friday, 45 sales on Saturday, which totaled up to $871. And then on Sunday, I made 25 sales, which totaled up to $600 on the dot. So nice, great math. Those were the different sales breakups per day. And now we're gonna break them up to cash and credit. So $755 of my sales were in cash transactions and $944 were on credit. So you can see that more people did pay on credit. And when you add those together, my total revenue for the weekend was $1,609. And when you subtract my costs, which as we remember were $670, that brings us to $939, which is if I wasn't donating everything I made on Sunday, that would be all that money straight to my pocket. You know, that's a pretty sweet deal. But since I'm donating $600 of those to IJM, then I made $339 total, which 
is a lot better than I was expecting. I wasn't, I had zero expectations, so I was very happy. I was like, whoa, that was crazy. And it was really fun. And this brings me to the three points of Comic-Con for me. Number one, it is worth the risk. Even if I hadn't made any money, I think it totally would have been still worth it because the experience, the opportunity to just go to Comic-Con, to bring my friends to Comic-Con, those who helped me out, they just got to go explore. Um, like I met people, I gained 40 followers. It was great networking. I have a bunch of commissions coming in now because I gave people my card. I had like info and commissions examples on my table, an awesome experience. And if you haven't done it, I think do it. Like you can never, you never know until you try. I tried and it worked for me, but I was getting the least amount of traffic on my aisle. So like it was, it could have still been discouraging, but if you just view it as like an experience and like something that you want to do, it's great. So number one, worth the risk. Number two, being friendly is very important. You got to be the most jovial guy that you can be. It was the most welcoming environment I have like ever been in. It was crazy. Like everyone was having so much fun. Everyone was laughing, talking, sharing like their trade secrets, like just handing them out. It was amazing. So be friendly, like put yourself out there at the end. Oh my goodness. The art trades was like the best part of Comic Con. So all the artists there, they got their stickers and stuff. You just go around with your stickers and be like, Hey, you want to trade? They're like, yeah. So I traded with a bunch of lovely folks and got a bunch of sweet art for like free, you know? And then finally, Money isn't everything. I, like I said, was not getting the most traffic on my street, but like, I wasn't there to make money. I was there to get my artwork out there, which I did, to get people in my sweaters and put my hats on, you know, got little brand ambassadors all around Winnipeg now, and to meet people. And I did all those things and I made money, which is great, but that's not why we do it. We do it for the love of art and for the experience and I got both those things. So it was great. I hope this video shows you like a little bit of what it was like. Hope you felt like you learned a little bit. Um, I'll link some of the videos that I watched to like how to set up my booth, like what I need to start my booth, all those things, cause they were really helpful. I, I, there were some things that I would never have thought of that they suggested. And so I really appreciated those videos. I'll put them in my description. Well, I hope you like coming along on the ride. And if you didn't get to see me on Comic Con and you're like, dang, I wish I had some of that sweet, sweet merch, well, don't you cry yourself to sleep tonight. You can check out my Etsy store linked in the description or follow me on Instagram to see my art. I really appreciate the support, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.